China's explosive development in recent years has induced tens of millions of poor rural migrants to move to cities in search of opportunity. The vast majority of these migrants joined the unskilled labor market. In Beijing, like nearly every urban city in China today, rural to urban migrants are among the fastest growing segments of the population. In many cases, migrant workers bring their children to the city. Properly educating and integrating these children into society has proven a complicated challenge. Many barriers, in particular the household registration or hukou system, have made it difficult for migrants to enroll their children in urban public schools. Instead, untold thousands of migrant students attend unregulated, for-profit, private elementary schools that have emerged in migrant communities around China's large cities. Existing on the fringes of legality, these migrant schools have few resources and produce very low educational outcomes. A recent REAP study has shown attending a migrant school severely hampers a child's capacity to excel academically. The poor teachers, low quality facilities, and high teacher and student turnover that are typical in migrant schools may be part of the problem. Evidence also suggests that migrant students lack the fundamental care that public school students receive. Profit-minded principals, poorly paid and overworked teachers, and busy uneducated parents are not in a position to help students if they fall behind. But there is hope. Computer-assisted learning may offer a solution to the absence of remedial care among vulnerable student populations in China, including migrant students. Stanford has collaborated with a private software developer and Tsinghua University to create educational games that are pegged to China's national curriculum in math, English, and Chinese. Games are fun, new, and provide practical computing skills to students accustomed to a dull and unsupportive teaching environment. Each game, lesson, and exercise has been extensively beta tested among targeted student populations. Weekly sessions with the software may not only raise grades, but also furnish children with a new interest in learning. Similar computer-assisted learning initiatives rolled out in India have elevated educational performances among poor students in low-quality schools. The promise of computer-assisted learning to inexpensively deliver improved educational outcomes among migrant children in China is therefore real and deserves a proper evaluation. A well-designed computer-assisted learning program can also serve as a platform to aid China's other vulnerable student populations. The Chinese government has committed billions of dollars to putting computers in schools throughout the country. Simply delivering the machines is not enough, however. They must be usefully incorporated into daily routines and curricula. REAP is ready to expand our computer-assisted learning program to under-resourced rural boarding schools and other vulnerable student populations throughout China's impoverished hinterland. REAP hopes that our computer-assisted learning initiative will positively improve student learning of math, English, and Chinese in thousands of needy schools and potentially offer millions of deserving children a better chance at a bright, productive future.